here tonight daddy i glorify your name lord i appreciate you somebody thank him somebody bless his name adore his holy name for our god is good and his mercy is endured forever daddy we thank you thank him thank him for leading us out safely and bringing us back safely for not leaving us alone, for not forsaking us in this place. Appreciate him, glorify him. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed, Father, Father every sin in my life that will cut me off from your presence tonight. Father, forgive, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody. Pray, somebody. Pray. Pray in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Brethren, be seated for a while. The Lord said we should pray against monitoring spirits. I don't know whom that prayer applied to. I don't know. Maybe it is me, maybe it's you. I don't know. He said we should pray against monitoring spirits. It's not one. It's spirits. Monitoring spirits. Now, what are monitoring spirits? We are going to take our text from the book of Romans chapter number 7. We will start reading from verse 15. What are monitoring spirits? Monitoring spirits are powers that follow people around for evil. They are the ones that make people do things that they don't, they would not have done it under normal condition. Or they do the normal thing and the spirit make it abnormal. The Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. When we have filled this site, then we can now go to other places. Brethren, when the Lord told me, gave me this topic this evening, I was baffled. I know it applies to somebody. Some of us Maybe even to me. But I tell you, brethren, tonight, every one of those spirits, the Lord will sack them from our lives in Jesus' name. Uh -uh. I see every one of those spirits, our God will sack them from our life in Jesus' name. Okay. 
every spirit that is following me around for evil. Father, dismiss them from my life tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Whatever spirit that is following me around for evil. Father, dismiss them out of my life tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Whatever name they are called. Whatever reason that made them to manifest in my life. Father, dismiss them out of my life tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, let them be dismissed out of my life. Let them be dismissed out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I have seen situations where you look at the life of people, brilliant people, very, very smart. But the yield of their life is not what it's supposed to be. The spirits monitor them around. Sit down, let me give you an example. I, I pray I will have the time to tell you stories tonight. Stories tonight. I can tell you let me just see if I can tell you maybe like three or four. So that it will show you angles from which we can pray. And we will pray through tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. I told us the story before of a particular brother that graduated from the University of Lagos. Oh, sorry. I said graduated. He attended university. And having spent 15 years in the school, the school gave him a letter saying that, I didn't see the letter, he told me that you have spent in this institution more than the number of years required for any student. Please leave the school. And so he left. After how many years? 15 years. In this age, when children, when parents put children to spend two years in primary school, two years in secondary school, you know, there will be some of his mates who were not yet born at the time when he started school, when he gained admission. That thing touched me so much. That that night, I was so pained because he's a very wonderful guy. I was so pained. He did like five courses or six in the university. Different courses. That night, I now went before the Lord. I said, what is wrong with this guy? I now saw him. And something that looked like a twin brother of his, but more aggressive, came out of him. And I saw them in a vision. And that one was addressing me. But look at him. Everything that he does, I am the one that changes it. If he writes, I beg to apply. I will change it to, I don't need this, your useless job. If he writes the right answer in the examination, I will change it. And he will use his hand to submit it. And when the problem will come, it will bounce on him. And that was the end of that revelation. And I called him to come and let us pray. It's, it should be going to 20 years now. We have not been able to pray that prayer. Going to how many years? 20. They have been calling him. Come, let us pray. Sir, if we will not locate us in Jesus' name. Every monitoring spirit. Operating in my life. In my life. Ah, Father, tonight, Father, tonight, I have come to report them on your altar. Father, Father dismiss them out of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody pray. Somebody pray. Father, dismiss them out of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
every monitoring spirit operating in my life. I bring them to judgment before you tonight. Ah, Daddy, I bring them to judgment before you tonight. Father, dismiss them out of my life tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, dismiss them out of my life tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, dismiss every one of them out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever they have come from, whatever they are holding upon my life, Ah, Father, dismiss them, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed, Father. Your word says that you hear the cry of the afflicted. Father, every monitoring spirit afflicting my life. Ah, I bring them to judgment before you tonight. Father, dismiss them out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Father, dismiss them, every one of them out of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, dismiss them, O oh Lord. Dismiss them, O oh Lord. Dismiss them, O oh Lord. Oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Dismiss them, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Arise for my sake tonight. Arise for my sake tonight. Dismiss every monitoring spirit out of my life. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Every insignia of siege. Every, every logo of siege. See, when that spirit is in somebody's life, it is a siege. It has laid siege to that life. And when there is a siege in any place, good thing cannot happen there. You know the reason why you put water inside drum. And after some weeks or months, bad things start growing out of the water. Have you noticed? Even your water tank from where you drink. If you open the water tank, after maybe three months, four months, you see that you will not even like to drink that water again. And that one is still good water. Because water is flowing into it and flowing out. Now imagine the drum or the bucket where water is not flowing in or flowing out. It's just stagnant there. Before you know what's happening, some things will grow inside it that you will not be able to drink it again. That is an example of a life under siege. The water inside that bucket is under siege. It can't go out. Another one cannot come in. Do you understand? That is how it is. You know, so, the life that is under siege, good things will not come in. Bad things will not be ventilated out of the life. If bad thing is inside that life, you mean, yeah. if good things want to come in, say no, don't come in. Every insignia of siege. Every, ah, every, every manifestation of siege every ah, of over siege. my life. Ah, Father, I come to your presence tonight. Taking authority over them. Father, destroy them out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Father, destroy them out of my life. Ah, Father, let them be destroyed out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let them be destroyed out of my life. Father, let every one of these siege be destroyed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed, Father. Every spirit working for evil in my life. Ah, every spirit working for evil in my life. They are arguing with your word over my life. They are arguing with your promise over my life. And therefore, Daddy... They are calling you a liar. Father, dismiss them out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Ah, Father, dismiss them out of my life. Father, let every one of them be dismissed out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Father, dismiss them, O Lord. Father, dismiss them, O Lord. Father, dismiss them, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. God bless you. Sit down for a while. Let's look at this example. Apostle Paul was talking about sin, not a spirit. But they walk the same way as rendered here. Romans 7 from verse 15. For what I do, I allow not. When that spirit is in somebody's life, he will leave <laughs> the good thing he is supposed to do and go and do the wrong one. Hello, somebody. A house help. Saw that the baby she was tending had temperature. The mother was not around. The baby was crying. House help wanted to help the baby cool down. She opened the deep freezer and kept the baby there for a while. You said her. <laughs> Did you say her? It happened. It happened. Sir, if we will not locate us in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, you think people enjoy doing bad things? It's not everybody that does bad things that enjoys it. How do you think it is possible for a father to beat a child, a two months old child, such that the child had to be amputated? His own child, only child. You think he loved that child to be an amputee? No. No. There are things behind it. There are things behind it. If you will not locate us in Jesus' name. Amen. I say every one of these power working for evil in my life. Enough is enough. Father, dismiss them out of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody pray. Somebody pray. Father, dismiss them out of my life. Every power working for evil in my life. Father, dismiss them, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, Father, let them be dismissed out of my life. Enough is enough, Daddy. I am tired of this bondage. Daddy, I am tired of this affliction. I have come, Daddy, to drop them at the feet of the cross. Father, dismiss every kind of this power out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let them be dismissed tonight. Father, let them be dismissed tonight. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Don't sit down yet. For what? what for that which I... I do, I allow not. For what I would, that I do not. What I feel like doing, what I know that it is good to be done, I don't do it. It is not that person. It is a power that is restricting him, restraining him from doing it. Sir, a lot of people want to take steps in the direction where God wants to bless them. But they will postpone it and procrastinate and do all manner of things year in, year out. God told them to start a business. They are still finding out how five years down the line. They are still doing market survey seven years down the line. Sir, when you do market survey for seven years, when will you now go to the market? If you will not locate us in Jesus' name. Father, Father, make my life, make my life uncomfortable, uncomfortable for any monitoring spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Father, fire up my life. Make it a torment to any monitoring spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, make my life a torment in the mighty name of Jesus. For every monitoring spirit Make it a torment unto them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, make it a torment, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Purge every one of them out of my life. 
Father, purge every one of them out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, purge every one of them out of my life. Father, purge every one of them out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Arise, O oh Lord. Help me tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, may, let my help come tonight. Oh, Father, let my help come in the mighty name of Jesus. Every monitoring spirit ah, operating in and around my life. Father, make my life a torment for them. Dismiss them out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, dismiss every one of them out of my life. Dismiss them, O oh Lord. Dismiss them, O oh Lord. Dismiss them, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, dismiss them, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Sit down, God bless you. He said, But what I hate that I do, it is what that person hates that they will do. And he will be doing it gleefully. It is not convenient for him. It is not convenient for her. But they do that thing with joy. Only to weep after. If we will not locate us in Jesus' name. Amen. Sir, a lot of people throw away their own favor because of that monitoring spirit. He goes for an interview. They ask him simple questions that he can answer even while sleeping. And he grows dumb. He will not be able to tell them anything. When he now leaves the interview place, he now remembers. He starts crying. If you will not locate us in Jesus' name. Amen. I told you the story of an accountant that was looking for employment. So he was invited for an interview in a very powerful place. And he went. He was to be employed as their treasurer. And he had a pen in his pocket. You see, at the end, finished the interview. Series of interviews before that day. The last final one. They now gave him employment form to fill. And he checked his pocket for his pen. He couldn't get the pocket. Meanwhile, previously, on the day before, he had a dream that he had a pen in his pocket and the pen soiled his pocket. So that day, when he got to the interview, one of the panelists gave him her pen. A lady gave him her pen and he used the pen. When he was searching for pen, he couldn't get his own. He used the pen to fill the form. And that one asked him. He put the pen back in his own pocket. That lady now asked him, my pen, please. He said, no, it's mine. This lady said, I gave it to you to fill the form. He started arguments. I know, it's my pen. He refused to give the lady the pen and the lady let him be. And he left the place. When he got to the bus stop, he felt his pocket and he saw two pens. He brought out two pens. He began to cry from there. I asked him, when he told me the story, why did you not at least sacrifice and give that lady that pen? He said I was to be employed as a treasurer. I must be prudent. I thought they were testing me to see whether I would be giving away things. That was how he lost that job. He eventually became a bike dispatch rider. Can you beat that? If we will not locate us in Jesus' name. Amen. I told you I have seen things. So when God told me that we should pray that prayer, I, 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 I threw myself into it. In fact, I saw myself in it. I believe I need it more than all of us. But tonight, the Lord will deliver me. I said the Lord will deliver me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, every power every power calling you a liar in my life father destroy them out of my life today 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Father, Father, let every one of them be cancelled out of my life. Dismiss them totally out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, dismiss them, O Lord. Father, dismiss them, O Lord. Father, let every one of them be dismissed out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever it is that they are pointing at to afflict my life, ah, Father, let the blood of Jesus wash it off me. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Father, let it be washed off me, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be washed off me, O Lord. Let it be washed off me, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I went to one hotel. The hotel was having serious challenges. It used to be a very big hotel. And I went to evangelize. And I met the, the owner there. Things had gone so bad. He was servicing the generator on his own with his son alone. In that hotel, as giant as that hotel was, they had only one guest that night. Only one. He had given me an appointment to come that day because I went earlier. He told me to come back another day. So I came that particular night. He told me he was busy. So I started to leave. As I got towards the gate, he called me back. He said, I should come. So I came. He said, can you wait for like 30 minutes? I said, yes. I had no job. That was my only job, evangelizing. So I sat down. Sit down, God bless you. And after, after he toyed and toyed on the generator, he couldn't get it fixed. He told his son to go and tell the guest that the generator was bad and apologized, that they will fix it tomorrow. It was in the evening. So, brethren, he now came, sat down. He said, do you know why I told you to come back? I said, no. He said, I don't want you to shake the dust of your feet at my gate because I know the implication. I know this is your second time of coming. He said, I have read the Bible. I was a deacon in church. But things are no longer the same. Somebody, the Lord is turning somebody's life around tonight. So we discussed. In fact, he preached to me. I went there to preach to him, but he spent like an hour preaching to me. Yes. Quoting Bible seriously. So, eventually, I was to leave, so I wanted to pray for him. As I said, in the mighty name of Jesus, I had Go and pray at the gate. I had. You didn't tell me. I had. The Holy Spirit told me. I now told him, let us go to the gate and pray. Ha! Ah! He said, you are a real man of God. I said, eh, why did you say so? He said, there is something at that gate. I said, what is it? Did you bury anything? They said, no. He said he gave himself to fasting many days when things started floundering. He said he now saw one small spirit holding Cain, a dwarf of a spirit holding Cain at the gate in a dream. He said he now asked, what are you doing there? He said, he said I'm here to chase away customers. He said customers have been dry, they are dried up. From that period. He said please. Let us pray at the gate. You know what I did? I just got to the gate. I say, I sack you in Jesus name. That was what I said. Stand to your feet. Father. Father. I take authority tonight. Over every monitoring spirit in my life. Ah, every monitoring spirit in my life. Hear now the word of the Lord. You are fired out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Fire them, fire them, fire them, fire them. You are hereby dismissed out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, you are hereby dismissed out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody declare, declare, use that authority. Yes, use that authority now. Use that authority now. Use that authority now. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Every power working for fruitlessness. Look at you. Every power working for fruitlessness. Hear the word of the Lord. You are dismissed out of my life. You are fired from tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. You are dismissed out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Declare now. Declare now. Declare now, you are fired out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, I command you fired out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. You will never return to my life anymore. You will never return to my life anymore in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Declare now, declare now. Declare now, declare now. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. You know, when I said power working for fruitlessness, some people say, eh, me, I have 15 children already. What am I fruitless? I'm fruitful. Ah. Fruitlessness is not the same thing as having no child. A person can have 5,000 children and still be fruitless. In fact, that person can still be barren. Yes can still be barren. There are different stages of barrenness. You don't know. Ah, You will not suffer any one of them. Amen. Father, Amen. every power working for lack in my life. Ah, I take authority over you now. Somebody grab the horn of the altar. Grab the horn of the altar. Grab the horn of the altar and shout, Father. Ah, every power working for lack in my life. I bring them to judgment before you tonight. I take authority over every one of these powers. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Be sacked out of my life. Be fired tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I say you are fired out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Ah, make that declaration now. Make that declaration now. Make that declaration now in the mighty name of Jesus. Make that declaration now in the mighty name of Jesus. Make the declaration. Every power working for lack. I declare you sacked out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, your tenor is ended. Be destroyed out of my life now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Hear me. A brother came to visit me some years ago from a very far place. He had been telling me revelations, revelations in the dream, in the, on the phone. And this particular day, he came. It was a day we had been planning for like one month. So he came. And he sat by me. He did not allow me to complete any sentence for like two hours. He did not allow me to complete any sentence. When I say, when he tells me, Daddy, I saw this revelation. This happened, this happened. And I said, okay, yes, let me explain to you. See, it's that explanation, Daddy, that I'm talking about. It is the explanation. He will now start 
discussing explanation. I say, that revelation that you said you saw. He said, yes! It is the revelation I'm talking about. And he will talk for another 30 minutes or so. And when he talked and talked and talked, I realized that it was not he alone that came. I kept quiet. So that I could, at the end of the day, when he gets tired, now coming. Do you know he never got tired? Before he finishes one discussion, he has launched into another one. And when he talked and talked, he just suddenly got up and picked up his bag. He says, thank you very much, daddy. Let me go now. And he started marching away. Sir, you will not suffer such in Jesus' name. I told you I have seen things. I have seen things. Sir, what will a prophet do for such? By the time I mentioned, brother, let me explain to you what you need is deliverance. This is that deliverance that I'm talking about. Deliverance. And he talk, 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 talk. Sir, what will a pastor do? The Bible says when the foundation is destroyed, what will the righteous do? Father. Father. Ah, Father. Examine my foundation tonight. Everything again with your promise in my life. Every power again with your promise in my life. Father, uproot them tonight by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Father, uproot them tonight by fire. Uproot them tonight by fire. Uproot them tonight by fire. Ah, Father, uproot them tonight by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, uproot them tonight by fire. Uproot them tonight by fire. Uproot them tonight by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed, Father. Hey, Father. Every monitoring spirit. Reigning in my life. Reigning in any aspect of my life. Father, tonight, destroy them out in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, destroy them out in the mighty name of Jesus. Every one of them, daddy. Every one of them, daddy. Every one of them. Ah, Father, destroy them out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed, Father. Every accusation over my life. That monitoring spirit are using to operate over me. Father, in your mercy, silence these accusations in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in your mercy, let these accusations be silenced in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Ah, somebody pray. In your mercy, daddy. Let these accusations be silenced. In your mercy, daddy. Let every one of these accusations be silenced. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, silence them, O oh Lord. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed, Father. Every verdict of guilt. That is making monitoring spirit have power over me. Father, I come pleading for mercy tonight. Father, watch them off me, O oh Lord. Let your mercy remove them in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, Father, let your mercy remove them. Every verdict of guilt reigning over my life. That this monitoring powers are using against me. Father, let your mercy remove them, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
ah father let your mercy remove them in jesus mighty name we have prayed sit down for a while in ancient times even today even in today's world those who have power always cannibalize the weak you know cannibalization they eat up the weak it is so everywhere some people you see i told some people i think it was in the woman in the gap also some people are in jail today for crimes they committed but those that put them inside the jail have committed worse crime. But because those ones have some backing and this other guy does not have, that is why this guy is in jail. I'm not saying he didn't do a bad thing, but it is not everyone that does a bad thing that gets behind bars in every society. Some people are so powerful that the law will be blind to what they have done. Probably because of their position. Probably because of their connections. Now, in the ancient times too, our fathers used to have such power. Some people will just look at the daughter of their neighbor and say, this sacrifice that I want to do. I want the sacrifice to be very, very thick. That girl will be a virgin. Go and bring her for me. And he sacrifice her. Yes. And the neighbor will cry and cry. And he dare not even cry in public. He dare not. Because people will be asking him, is he not only one child? He say yes. He say better keep, keep short. Have you forgotten mama so so so? It was three of our own children that he sacrificed. Better go and thank your, whatever God you say you are worshipping. And that man will carry big abada and be moving around. And Strong men will follow him. Probably is the one that is doing charm for the king. What will you see? The king is his second in Kalabashi. Kalabashi. Not command you. Second in Kalabashi to God. At that time. And this is the second in command. I second in Kalabashi to God. So what will you say? He has influence. But sir, do you think God will forget the blood of that child and the crying of their mother. That blood is crying against that person and his generation. And there are spirits that follow those blood around. Anywhere that man's lineage is, they can trace them even to Tokyo in Japan. Stand to your feet. Father, every verdict of guilt crying against my life forming a monitoring spirit over me ah i have come pleading for mercy tonight whatever my ancestors have done ah that is crying against my life father Forgive me, O oh Lord. Let your mercy release me tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody pray. Somebody pray. Father, let your mercy release me tonight. Ah, Whatever my ancestors have done, that is crying for vengeance over me, that powers that be are monitoring over my life, Father, let your mercy release me. I was not there when my ancestors did it, Father. I have come under your banner, O oh Lord. I am a true circumcision. Father, let your mercy release me tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your mercy release me tonight. Ah, Daddy, let your mercy release me tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed, Father. Every monitoring spirit, ministering lack over my business. Ah, Father, dismiss it tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, you, this monitoring spirit, 
I take authority over you tonight. Every one of your property in my business, every one of your hand over my business, I command it destroy today in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Ah, every one of your property over my business, every one of your hand over my business. I command it destroy tonight. Ah, I take authority over your work in my life. And I command it destroy tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. I command that hand destroy in the mighty name of Jesus. I command it destroy tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever it is that you are pointing at. To afflict my life. That siege is over tonight. The siege is over tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, I say the siege is over tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Ah, in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed, Father. Ah, Father. I take fresh authority over my business. And I say business, hear ye the word of the Lord. Look, look, amen. You say business, hear ye the word of the Lord. If the business has a name, you mention the name. You now do your hand like you are laying your hand on a child. You understand? Somebody that you are taller than. Because the business is your creature. You are the one that created it. It's your Adam. So you can command it. I take authority over you, this is my business. And I command you prosper now in the mighty name of Jesus. Make that declaration. Go ahead and make that declaration. Go ahead and make that declaration. Speak to it. Speak to it. Speak to it. Say, let your eyes be open now. Mention the name of that business. Let your ears be open now. Hear the word of your creator. I take authority over you from my own creator. And I command you tonight. Prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Prosper in the mighty. Make that declaration. Make that declaration. Make that declaration. Make that declaration. Yes. We are rounding off. We are rounding off. Make that declaration. Make that declaration. Hear the word of the Lord. Prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Father. Father. Every hand working for siege over my business. Every hand working for siege over my business. Ah, Father, let that hand be cut off now. From my business in the mighty name of Jesus. Let that hand be cut off from my business in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let that hand be cut off from my business in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Father, let that hand be cut off from my business. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be cut off, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, somebody make that declaration. Make that declaration. Make that declaration. Let that hand be cut off now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every hand working for siege. Every hand working for lack in my business. Father, let that hand be cut off now. In the mighty name of Jesus. I command that hand be cut off from my business in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. This is your prayer. Look at your life. Look at you. Sit down. Look at your life. In which area are you noticing siege? In which area are you noticing recurrent failure? Delay. Visit those areas with your declaration tonight. You can hold on to the horns of the altar if you like. And you can sit down if you like. It depends on how serious the matter is to you. It depends on how serious the matter is to you. Just visit those areas with that declaration. Visit those areas. Visit those areas. Visit it. Visit it. 
visit those areas now. Visit those areas now. Visit those areas now. Report that matter to him. Tell it to Jesus. And take authority over that area. And make that declaration tonight. And you will see things blossoming in that particular area. You see things working for your good. You see things turning around. Make that declaration. Make that declaration. Make it. We are driving home. We are driving home. We are driving home now. Make that declaration. We are driving home. Let us begin to round off. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Our Father, stretch your hands towards the altar. Our Father and our God, we bless your name. Daddy, we appreciate you because every time we call on you, you are our God, always answer. Be exalted, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you for your word that has located us tonight. Thank you because your word is not scarce in Korem. We bless your name, Daddy. You said we should pray against monitoring spirits. And Daddy, we have done that. We take authority now over any of this monitoring spirit, over any area they are operating in our life, over whatever they are, we are using as instrument of siege over us, we declare every one of them, every one of them counseled out of our life in Jesus' name. Amen. And we say tonight, this spirit, hear the word of the Lord. You are hereby dismissed out of our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. I say your enterprise is destroyed out of our lives. Amen. Father, we glorify your name. Amen. You will never return to our life again. Amen. Every one of these monitoring spirits, you are not permitted back into our life. You go, you go forever from tonight in Jesus' name. The favor of our God flow into our lives in Jesus name and brethren that thing you have said concerning your business concerning your marriage, your life your academics, your career everything, your health I say it is done receive it now in Jesus name and the name of our God will be glorified in your life in Jesus mighty name we have prayed in Jesus mighty name we have 